Hi guys, Jack here from Bridge Coffee Roasters. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about keeping your espresso machine clean throughout the day and for long term use. So there's a few things you want to keep by the machine at all times. The first is a damp cloth. You'll keep that by the steam wand. After every time you steam some milk, you want to clean any residual milk off the wand and give it a quick purge of just two or three seconds. And that will stop any burnt milk affecting the flavor. Before every coffee, you're gonna to wanna to knock out the coffee puck that sat in the portafilter, and you'll just use the dry towel just to give the inside of the basket a quick wipe down. And you can keep that by the machine or tucked into your apron. You also might wanna keep a brush handy. Whenever you get some downtime, take your portafilter out of the machine and just give the shower screen a quick brush and inspection just to get rid of any oils or grounds that might be stuck on. So at the end of every day, you wanna give your machine and parts a bit more of a deep clean. So you're gonna want a plastic container and some coffee machine cleaning powder. You wanna add a small spoonful of the powder to the tub and then fill it all the way up with some hot water. So that will give you a nice bath of cleaning liquid. And in there, you wanna put your baskets, steam on tips, and the metal parts of the portafilter. Make sure not to get the nice wooden or leather handles inside the liquid. So just take your baskets out of the portafilter. Can be a bit tricky, but you can use a spoon or a dry towel just for some extra grip. Pop those off, put the baskets in there, along with the steam on tips, and leave that to soak for a good five, 10 minutes. While this is happening, I recommend you perform a back flush every day on your machine. So what you want to do is grab one of the blank portafilter baskets that your machine came with and just lock that in to your portafilter. And you want to add a small pinch of the cleaning powder. Give your group head a quick purge and clean off any grounds and then lock in this blank in place. A lot of machines these days are coming with their pre-programmed back flush cycles. So go ahead and get that started. Otherwise you can do it manually and it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is five pulses of five seconds. So using your manual shot button, just start a shot for five seconds, and then off for two, and then on again, and repeat this five times. And then once that's finished, just remove the portafilter and give the group head a purge through. Remove the blank. And put back your regular basket and just give it a quick purge again. The back flush kind of creates a pressure vacuum, so it sucks up all of the cleaning powder into the group head, giving it a nice deep clean on the inside. So once you've performed the back flush and you've given your machine a proper wipe down and clean, just take out all the parts that were soaking, dry them off, give them a quick rinse with some clean hot water. Grab the steam on tip and again, give that a nice rinse with some clean water and then careful not to burn yourself because it might be hot. Just screw it back in to the steam wand. And then once everything's locked back in, just give the portafilters a quick purge just to get rid of any cleaner that's left on. And at that point, just turn the machine off and it'll be nice and clean, ready for your service the following day. Every week or so, I also like to do a deep clean of the shower screen. So just take the portafilters off and remove the shower screen. You might need a flathead screwdriver some you can just wedge off so the shower screen will come loose and you'll probably see a buildup of grounds and oils so every week or so i just like to take that off and add it into the soaking parts and whilst they're soaking just take your brush and brush all around where the shower screen used to be just to get rid of any oils or loose coffee grounds and after that's finished soaking just pop the shower screen back in and then purge through once again. So we've covered the daily tasks and also make sure to clean the shower screen every week or so. There's also a couple things you wanna do every year. So every machine has some parts that do eventually wear down over time, like the gaskets around the shower screens and the steam on tips. Most machines will come with service packs. So just make sure all these parts are replaced every year or so, just to get ahead of any parts that might eventually wear down. And from an insurance standpoint as well, make sure that your machine is getting a boiler inspection every year. 
So that was everything that you need to know to look after your coffee machine and keep it clean and functioning properly. If you want to work with a coffee supplier that can help you out with this kind of stuff, I'll leave a link in the description to check us out at Bridge Coffee Roasters. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.